snail armor aluminum tailgate flat panel. Let's unbox this thing and get it installed on my Toyota Tacoma, plus a discount code for you guys. <music> installing the snail armor tailgate aluminum flat panel on my Toyota Tacoma. I've got it down here on the table. We're going to unbox it. I haven't seen it yet. So you guys along with me are going to see it for the first time. Real quick, if you're interested in this, you can pick one up over at snailarmor.com and use discount code RobMotive for 10% off. This would make a great Christmas present. Anyway, let me point you down. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. I'm very excited, and then I'll show you what the purpose of this is. I think it's pretty cool. So, packaged very nicely for shipping purposes. I'm going to go ahead and cut this off, probably give you a high-speed version because there's a lot of tape on here, and I don't want to damage it in cutting it out of this. Okay, I think I can pull it out just like this. Let's take a look. We have a note in here. I'm going to take a look and see what that's all about here in a minute, as well as some verbiage and some install instructions. Pretty easy to install. Don't know if I'll need the instructions, but if you do, it's pretty easy. So let's go ahead and pull this thing out. Awesome. I can see it already. Looks pretty cool. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, check that out. They do laser uh, etching so that you can get whatever you want on it. Of course, you know, I have to have the Rob Motive logo since you know I have the channel and all. But I've got that right in the middle. Again, you can get anything you want put on there with laser etching. They can program it up and get whatever you want. So we have that. And then of course, we also have the snail armor logo over here on the end with a little snail looking thing. Pretty cool. First impressions, it's pretty stout. Don't think we're going to have any issues with that. It is 1 8 inch aluminum. It is a 5052 aluminum for those alloy folks out there. Very sturdy. It is textured powder coated, so it should give you a little bit of uh, cleaner footing when you're getting in and out of the truck. Still going to be slippery, probably similar to what the OEM version is, but still a little bit of surface on there to keep you planted. So let's go ahead and take a closer look. There you go. There's the logo. I love that. Awesome job. Now to go ahead and put it on, um, you have to put the tailgate down, of course. That's not too complicated. There are, I believe, 16 screws that you remove around the edge of the tailgate. All of these screws, they're a T30 or Torx bit 30 bit. So we're gonna go ahead and pull these off. Now, the purpose of it, couple of things. Number one, gives you a flat surface as opposed to this. I don't like this. If you've ever kneeled up here to get in the truck, this is pretty painful on the knees. Not digging that. Also, it's gonna be flat. You can sit stuff on there if you're an overlander, a camper, you can put your stove on there. And if it gets a little hot, you're going to melt this stuff. You're not going to melt the aluminum panel that we're going to put on. So let's go ahead. I'll remove these screws. We'll go ahead and get it placed. And then I'll show you guys what it looks like. Okay, there you go, 16 screws, it's off. Now, to pull this off, let's see, I believe, you should just be able to lift it up from the back, pull it off towards the cab. And that is true. All it does, it kind of fits right underneath the, the lip of this front panel. So that takes this off. Weight-wise, I'd say it's comparable. Um, the new one is probably about the same, I think. Now we gotta grab the new one, 
go ahead and see which way I believe it goes this way. So the logo in this case is going to be facing out. I love this. Isn't this awesome? Uh, one other thing I want to mention, you know, in addition to overlanding, getting in and out of the truck, protecting your knees, if you are a tailgater, like for football, this is perfect to sit stuff on. It's not going to roll around. It's not going to fall down in those gaps. Perfect for that. So we're going to slide this underneath the lip. Should be pretty simple to do, I think. Like so. Line it up. Make sure we fit well. I'm going to get the holes in there properly, just like so. And that's it. Nice fit. Looks like all the screws are lining up. And what I like about the top here it is recessed. So when you put the screws in, it's going to fit right down in there and uh, should come off pretty well. So I'm going to go ahead, put all the screws in, and then we're going to take a look. Now, one thing I want to mention in the kit, we should get back to the kit, I think. They do include uh, some new screws, it looks like. They do. So we have some screws, and this is so that you can utilize the countersunk space that they put on. So we have new screws, and they do provide a Torx 30 bit so that you can go ahead and put this thing in, as well as some snail trail stickers and stuff. Pretty cool stuff. We'll put these on the post for the lift. So let's go ahead. I'm going to get these started, get it all screwed down. Now, you will need to reuse the bigger screws uh, that are in the front along the cap here. So make sure you don't get rid of any of this stuff because you will need to reuse these. The ones that they provide go in the counter sunk holes once again. So let's grab these. We'll get these started in there. Not gonna use the bit because I have my own, but if you don't, uh, that's a good addition, I think, to the kit. Okay, let's get her lined up properly. install probably one of the easiest mods you can add to your Toyota Tacoma let's take a look at it uh, they did an awesome job uh, kudos to Jimmy Jet over there at snailarmor.com again if you're interested in this check them out it is snailarmor.com discount code Rob Motive for 10% off if you want to pick one of these up gotta say quality of it spot on didn't see any issues with it Perfect fit, all of the holes lined up perfectly, no issues with any of that, and the etching is perfect. Looks great. Love the way it came out, and I really do dig the Rob Motive logo on here. Kudos to them. Great job. Now, what am I going to use this for primarily? Well, as I mentioned in the beginning, get in and out of the truck, always stuck my knees down in these little slots. It's really kind of painful, not good at all. Don't have that problem here. Nice flat surface to be able to get in and out of, set things on. Speaking of setting things, you know, I would sit my drink on there and it would end up precariously perched as it is right now. I do have the cap on, but you can imagine, hit that thing, falls down. Now you've got green nectar in this case all over the place. I don't have that trouble anymore. I can just sit it right there, anywhere. It's gonna stay upright, no problems. Might scoot a little bit, not a big deal. I am facing down a hill but look at that didn't fall over either pretty darn cool again you can use this for overlanding You've got a hot stove you want to sit on there obviously you wouldn't want to sit that on your plastic cover now you're probably going to ruin it other things like let's say tailgating great place to put the cold pops if you're into that or maybe the kool-aid for the kitties either way makes a great work surface for that kind of stuff too I love it. I think it's pretty cool. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think of it. Do you have one already? I'd be curious to know. 
Don't forget, you can go to snailarmor.com and use discount code Rob Motive for 10% off. Also, real quick, I do have two additional channels. Rob Motive FST, all about my 2021 Toyota Tundra. And Rob Motive JT, all about my 2020 Jeep Gladiator. Check them out, and if you're interested, please consider subscribing. Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.